What came first, the chicken or the egg? Hey guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society and today we're gonna make this eggshell for Charlie the Chick. If you need to make Charlie and his crochet along, I will link that down below. Hey guys, we're gonna get started by making the top of our eggshell. You're just gonna grab some worsted weight yarn, a crochet hook, a stitch marker, and a yarn needle. We're gonna start out by making six single crochet into a magic circle. You can do that however you'd like, or you can follow along with me as I make a slip knot and I chain two. I'm gonna grab a long piece of yarn. I'm gonna wrap it around two fingers, crisscrossing at the top. I'm gonna to push that back piece to the front, and I'm gonna pull up on that piece. I'm gonna insert my hook and I'm gonna chain two. So here's chain one and chain two. I'm gonna single crochet six times into that second chain from the hook. I have a slower video that I'll link below that shows this magic circle technique. I'm gonna tighten up my magic circle. I'm gonna place a stitch marker on the last stitch of the round. Feel free to place it on the first. And for round two, we are going to increase in each stitch around. So that is two single crochet into each stitch. Here is single crochet one, going to the same stitch, single crochet two. We're gonna move over and make another increase. That's two single crochet. Move over for our third increase. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth increase. At the end of round two, we're going to have 12 stitches. Go ahead and close up that magic circle. We're gonna change our stitch marker. For round three, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next, and we'll repeat this six times. Go underneath your first stitch, and we're gonna make two single crochet. Here's one and two. Move over for a single crochet. Then we're gonna start with our increase again. So here's our second increase. Move over for a single crochet. We have increase. Single crochet. We have another increase. Single crochet. We have our fifth increase. Move over for a single crochet. And then our sixth and last increase, ending with a single crochet. At the end of round three, we will have 18 stitches. We're gonna close up this hole one more time, change our stitch marker. And for round four, we are going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next two. Here is our first increase. We're gonna single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Here's one, move over, single crochet two. Here's our second increase. Single crochet in the next two stitches. Here's our third increase. Single crochet in the next two. Increase. Single crochet in the next two. We have another increase. single crochet in the next two. And then our sixth and final increase, ending with two single crochet. At the end of round four, we'll have 24 stitches, change your stitch marker. We have one more increase round here, so we are going to make an increase, single crochet in the next three stitches. Here is our first increase single crochet in the next three. Here is another increase. Single crochet in the next three. Here 
Here's our third increase. Single crochet in the next three. Our fourth increase. Single crochet in the next three. Our fifth increase. Single crochet in the next three. Then our sixth and final increase, ending with three single crochet. We're going to change our stitch marker. We will have 30 stitches at the end of this round. For round six, we are going to just single crochet in the next 30 stitches. If you wanted to make this eggshell bigger for another um, groomy or just bigger for Charlie, you can keep adding on increase rounds. So you would do an increase and then single crochet in the next four and so on. If you wanted to make this smaller, you could just get rid of a round and then just add on some single crochets. Thank you guys for joining me on this crochet along. If you're making the eggshell, I'm pretty sure you made Charlie, but if you didn't and you wanna check him out, I'm gonna put the link up here for the crochet along and I'll also put it down below. He's a great amigurumi to do because he's actually pretty quick for an amigurumi. There's not too many parts to attach, so that's always a little bit easier, and he's super cute. So we're finishing up the last few stitches here. We are going to change our stitch marker. We're still ending with 30 stitches. For round seven, we're gonna be doing a few different stitches, a single crochet, half double crochet, a double crochet, and a triple crochet. And if you don't know these stitches, I am gonna go slow, but if you need extra support, I'm gonna put down the links to my videos below. Here we're gonna do these stitches together and I'm gonna to try to go slow so you do not get lost. We're gonna start out with a single crochet. Then we're gonna do a half double crochet. We're gonna yarn over, we're gonna place our hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, we'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. For a double crochet, we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook. You're gonna yarn over and go through two loops. You'll have two loops left. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That's your double crochet. For a triple, we're gonna yarn over, yarn over again. Go into our next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have four loops on the hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through two. You'll have three left, yarn over, pull through two. You'll have two left, yarn over, pull through two. And that's a triple crochet. We're gonna do a double. So we're gonna yarn over, go into our next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. That's your double. For a half, we're gonna yarn over, go into our next stitch, yarn over, pull through. We'll have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And now we're gonna start it all over again. We are going to do a single crochet. We're gonna do a half double crochet, yarn over. Yarn over again and then pull through all three loops. We're gonna do a double crochet, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Triple, yarn over, yarn over, go into our stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We're gonna do a double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Make your half by yarning over and then pulling through all three. We're gonna start over again with our single crochet. We're gonna do a half. 
We're going to do a double crochet. A triple crochet. A double crochet. A half double crochet. And then we're going to start over all again. So we have a single crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to do a half double crochet. We're going to do a double crochet. A triple crochet. A double crochet. A half double crochet. And then we're going to start over starting with a single crochet. Next, doing a half double crochet. A double crochet. A triple crochet. A double crochet. And then ending with a half double crochet. At the end of this round, you'll have 30 stitches and this is it. We're gonna leave a long piece of yarn. I'm gonna take out my stitch marker. We're gonna do a seamless join on this piece. Cut a long piece. We're not gonna fasten off. We're just gonna pull this yarn all the way through. Grab your yarn needle. We're gonna find our last stitch by pulling up so we know that this is our last stitch. We're gonna move over a stitch and we are gonna go underneath both loops. We're gonna pull that through. Then we're gonna find the last stitch that we made and we're gonna go right down the middle of the V. This makes a faux stitch and it helps to get rid of that little ridge that we end up with in amigurumi. From here, I am gonna weave in both pieces of my yarn. Okay, so we finished the top half of our egg and we will move on to our bottom piece. For the bottom part of the shell, you're gonna rewind the video and crochet from round one through six of the top, because it is the same. We're gonna end up with 30 stitches. We're gonna start with round seven. We're gonna make one decrease, single crochet in the next three. If you need a refresher on the invisible decrease, I will link that video down below. Here is our first decrease. We're gonna single crochet in the next three stitches. Here is our second decrease. Single crochet in the next three. Here is our third decrease. If this goes in on you, you just go ahead and pop it back out. Single crochet in the next three. Here is another decrease. Single crochet in the next three. We have a decrease. Single crochet in the next three. We have another decrease. Single crochet in the next three. We will have 24 stitches at this point. We're gonna change our stitch marker. For round eight, we are going to repeat that sequence of the single crochet and the half double. I'm not gonna go again through each stitch, so if you need help with that, go ahead and rewind the video. We're gonna start out with a single crochet. We're gonna do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. We're gonna move over and do a double crochet, so yarn over. We're gonna go through two loops, yarn over, go through the last two loops, and then we'll do a triple crochet. So yarn over, yarn over, go through the stitch. We're gonna yarn over and go through two loops. 
yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops. So now we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. And then end with a half double crochet. We're going to start the sequence all over again. So we're going to start with a single crochet. We're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. A double crochet in the next. Then we're going to do a triple crochet. A double crochet. A half double crochet. And that ends the end of our second sequence. We're going to repeat our third sequence. Here's a single crochet. Here's a half double crochet. A double crochet. Triple crochet. A double crochet. And then ending with our half double crochet. You guys will know these stitches like the back of your hand. Okay, onto our last sequence, we're gonna do a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet. A triple crochet, a double crochet, and then ending with a half double crochet. We will have 24 stitches at the end of this round. We are going to make a seamless join once again so you can leave a long piece of yarn. Instead of fastening off, I'm just going to pull that yarn all the way through and then I'm going to take out my stitch marker. I'm going to grab my yarn needle, get my yarn through my needle and ready. I'm going to pull up to find my last stitch. I'm going to move over a stitch. I'm going to pull through with my yarn needle. And then I'm going to find my last stitch that I made and I'm going to go right down the middle of that V. I'm going to weave in both pieces of yarn and then cut off the extra piece. With the bottom shell, you can just flatten out your stitches a little bit and we are done. So let's grab our Charlie the Chick. So here's Charlie. He's ready to get into his shell. You might just need to flatten out your stitches a little bit. And then if you wanted to, you could grab some fabric glue. I like Aileen's fabric glue and you can either glue it to his head or if you want to leave it removable, you can just leave it like this. It actually kind of sticks on pretty well. That's it, you guys. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs.